Thanks for coming. What are you doing in a hotel room? Mom and I are staying here while they paint our house. Cool. So, what happened with the exams? Are you gonna graduate today? I don't know. Well, why, why not? Didn't they post the grades first thing in the morning? Yeah, they did, but I'm afraid to look. I went to the website and I entered my social security number and then I froze. I, I couldn't bring myself to push the button. You want me to do it for you? Would you? You ready? Just tell me what it says. Oh, no. I failed. Congratulations. What, you mean I did it? Yep. I get to graduate? Class of 2010. <laughs> Ew. What if I want orange juice without your Jeremy backwash? Your mom said I could finish it, and there's another one back there if you want. I lost my appetite. Oh, I'm sorry that my manners offend you, but then again, everything I do offends you, so whatever. It's not like I'm gonna be here forever. Good. Hey, uh, you're good friends with Parker, right? What's his deal with Liberty? They used to be married. I mean, now, are they together or what? Good morning. Oh, you look so comfortable in your natural habitat. I didn't think you'd show. Well, curiosity got the better of me. I just wondered to myself, what on earth does Craig want from me? Answers. How much time have you spent with Gabriel? Are you asking if I'm socializing with your delinquent? Just answer the damn question, Lucinda. He's living at Lily's place. Of course, I see him en passant. Why? Because he seems to be channeling you. Which I find peculiar, since, as you say, you barely know one another. Channeling me? <laughs> what on earth does that mean? It's almost as if he's quoting you. Well, with my usual flair, that's preposterous. Isn't it? Do you think Parker and Liberty are just friends now, nothing more? Why do you care? It's not like she'd go for a loser like you anyway. It'd be better for you if she did. Why? Because, Faith, it's totally obvious that you're into Parker. Hello? Hi, Parker. Gabriel, it's Liberty. Hey, Liberty. What's up? Liberty's mom is throwing her a graduation party later, and she wanted me to invite you. So if you're calling for her mom? I'm graduating today. Hey, that's awesome. You did it. You passed everything. I had a lot of help. No. No, uh, I'm calling for me and for Liberty, but she's busy getting dressed right now, and I know it's really last minute. I'll be there. Do I have to wear a suit? No, not if it's a deal breaker. Okay, so I'll see you later. So I'm a loser, huh? Liberty just invited me to her graduation. Curly, hi. Good morning. I didn't know that you were coming over. Mom's not here. Yeah, I'm not here to see your mom. Gabriel, can I talk to you privately? Gabriel was giving me his litany of complaints against me, but something about the way he was speaking just seemed off, and suddenly I realized he sounds just like a filthy rich woman of a certain age. I I'm afraid you've lost me. Is there a question in there? Have you been feeding Gabriel his lines? I Are you behind the false statement that he gave to the police about me attacking him? I have neither the time nor the inclination to pull strings on your kid. You were at the hospital when he came out of his coma. Lily had an attack of conscience, misguided, and of course I was there to support her. <laughs> or muzzle her. Ah, oh, <laughs> would that I could, alas. <laughs> Tell me the truth, Lucinda. What were you doing hanging around my son's room? Now look, there's no conspiracy. Just drop it. You... <laughs> You're desperate, aren't you? You're just grasping at straws. And me thinks she doth protest too much. Which makes me think I'm right. I know you're going to the police station to talk to Jack, and I'd like you to stick to your story. Parker hit you, but that was before Craig knocked you out and he left you there to die in the fire. Please, just promise me you're going to say that, no matter what. What do you mean, no matter what? Just don't let Jack pressure you into saying anything else. I think you owe Parker at least that much. How do you figure that? 
It was his money you pocketed, remember? Come on, Gabriel. You got a nice place here with Lily. You have a chance at a fresh start. But only if you don't change what you've already told the police. Why should I? Exactly. All right, this has been a great talk, but I gotta go. Just remember, whatever Jack asks you, you... I think you went into Gabriel's hospital room where you had a captive audience and you pressured him to lie to the police. He didn't lie. Well, obviously he did because I didn't attack him. Oh, God, it's just like you. It's so like you. You commit horrific crimes and then you blame somebody else. I'm not a murderer. In this instance, only because Gabriel didn't die. How did you get to him, Lucinda? Was it your typical M.O. where your wallet is always willing to buy someone's soul? It's so tedious. It's really tedious. What, why would I want? What would I have to gain from that? The pleasure of my misery. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. But why would I waste my time? I know you're responsible for turning my son against me. What's the proof? Well, let's see. Tom could always subpoena the hospital for their security videos. Shouldn't take too long to find out if you spent any time alone with Gabriel. Well, so what if I did? If I were to have done it? After all, he's part of the family. Yeah. The maid's family. I wonder if Lily would like to hear any of this. She's feeling so guilty right now, there's no way that she would lie to me. And if she's not aware of your recent antics, I'm sure she'd be interested to hear about them. Hey, Mom, where were you? Did you get my daughter race graduation party? Yeah, I did. I'm just going to run upstairs and change. I'll be ready in a minute, okay, all right? Where's Dad, though? Is he coming with us? Yeah, well, he, he's coming. He's just not, he's not going to go with us. Why not? What, what's going on? Nothing. He just had to work, so he's going to go from the station, that's all. The important thing is that we're all going to be there for Liberty, to help her celebrate. Glad you came in. I didn't realize I had a choice. The DA is bringing Craig's case in front of the grand jury in a couple days. So? So, they're going to have questions. OK, well, I've already told you everything I know. Yeah, there's some inconsistencies with your story, however. For example, the paperweight that you said Craig hit you over the head with, it's actually a glass figurine, very fragile, and was shattered on impact. Can you explain why that didn't happen? No, I was actually out cold. Hey, of course. Yeah, the ER report says that um, you suffered blunt force trauma to the head. Yeah? You told Margot that you had hit your head before in your fight with Parker, so there would have been two head injuries. It would have been next to impossible for Craig to hit you in the same exact spot, don't you think? I don't know. Your stories don't match up, Gabriel. And if you perjure yourself on the witness stand under oath in front of a grand jury, you will go to jail. So I'm giving you one last chance. Tell me the truth. 